I did what I had to. Keep it up. Over already? Hmm, I'm not at my best today.
I must steal myself. So this is how it's done. My thanks. A chance to grow. We must all do our part. Much needed. Together, all joyous. It's on. Yeah. We must all do our part. Fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We 
will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor and the Death Knight? I have to say, they both looked very dangerous. Where did they go? It doesn't matter. We need to get these two out of here. Bring them up. Flame? Oh, thank goodness. She was unconscious at the end of that secret passage. We found the culprit, too, but he got away. I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. That's what matters most. I'd like to hear what transpired, but first, we need to get these ladies to the infirmary. Understood. We'll go at once. I'm... I'm sorry, Professor. I'm so relieved, I suddenly felt weak. I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. And I imagine no one will be more overjoyed than Seteth. Hmm? Hey, Professor. Can you make that expression one more time? I don't think I've ever seen your face like that. <laughs> I apologize. I've forgotten myself and come dangerously close to teasing you. It's just... I've never seen you look so happy before. It's downright mesmerizing. Ah, but this isn't a time for idle chit-chat. We must hurry and share the good news with Seteth. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so, too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? 
Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy. But who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her in the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, Strange groups have been seen around Garag Mach and elsewhere, too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf. I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. 
Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela! Are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Welcome to the Monastery Fishing Tournament. You look confused. Didn't Sabbath tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flame. I have a favor to ask. Thanks. I appreciate it.
Are you taking part as well? Why don't we have some fun with this? A little contest. If you catch a fish like this, come show it to me. Whoever catches the bigger fish will be the victor. Is this for me? Thank you. So, you've caught something, have you? Let us pit our fish against each other. Alas, your fish is clearly grander than mine. I suppose you win, this time. <laughs> oh, are you taking part in the fishing tournament? Let's put your skills to the test. Whoever can catch the biggest one of these fish wins. Ah, oh, Professor. What an honor that you would come and talk to me. I'd like to learn more about you. Maybe someday you can add me to your class. Ah, you are oh, lost. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> oh, so you're taking part. How would you feel about a little friendly competition? Catch the same kind of fish as me and we'll compare the two. Biggest wins. Looks like you've been doing some fishing. Let's see what you've got. Wow, that's a spectacular fish. You win. I can't compete with that. Hi there. Let's see. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. Travel? I don't know. Never thought about it, I guess. Professor, as Seth has told you, we're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need, staff and student alike. I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. way to Grander Field. It's idiocy to travel that far. It may be a tradition, but it takes forever to get there and is exhausting. So pointless. I guess there's nothing to be done about it, even by you, Professor. Yes? I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here to ask a favor, please ask someone else. Go all the way to it, make. I guess there's. Thank you. Professor. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're entering too. Then how about a little friendly competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. There's no way I'll lose. 
Good to see you, Professor. Did you need something from me? I was just on my way to train, so I'm pretty busy. We can talk soon. Did you catch something? Let me see what you got. No way! That fish looks bigger and tastier! I can't believe I lost. Is this for me? It's so nice! So you are joining the fishing tournament? That's great, but you don't stand a chance against me. I just caught this beauty. I bet you can't catch a bigger one of the same kind. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. All right, let's see what you got. I... I lost? But how? Ugh. I guess I underestimated you, Professor. Yes. I am happy that you will have participation. Maybe you and I both can have a small contest with each other? We will both have catching of the same fish type and do comparisons. Whoever has the fish with the biggest size will be winning, okay? Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. Show me the fish so we can see whose has the biggest size. I will have comparisons now. Your fish has way more size. I have had losing. I mean, I have lost. You have my thanks. I had lost the place of this. You have my thanks. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Hmm. But they haven't been biting. What shouting? Everyone told me I was too loud, so I've been using my quiet voice. Will you be taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? I shall take it! very much. <sighs> what a shame. It is not the type I was hoping for. Have you thought about entering? Maybe you and I could have a little friendly competition. I just caught this fish here. Why don't you try catching a bigger one of the same type? Let me see. Nice, you beat me. This is for you.
Professor. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what a shame. It is not the type I was hoping for. Yes. <laughs> having a fishing tournament now are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion you're not condoning this right are you no oh, thanks professor welcome to the monastery fishing tournament you look confused, didn't you? Just show any fish you catch to fling. Guess that's it. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Hey. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Yes. This created more fun than I have experienced in a long time. Did you also have the fun? Much, but this tournament was a lot of fun. The fishing tournament's over already? Guess it's time for my personal eating tournament then. Best part is no losing. Hey. The fishing tournament is over. I heard you did some fishing, and that flame is happy. All that's left now is to eat it. Should I smoke it? Stew it? Ugh, I'm drooling already. I think that's the end of the fishing tournament. I suppose it's time to prepare for the battle of the eagle and lion. <laughs> fishing was a nice change of pace, but now it's time to focus on the battle of the eagle and lion. Let's see. 